Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing the next ice cream palette from BH Cosmetics. This is cherry on top. It is the beautiful red palette. I cannot wait to do this with you guys. I think this is one of my more favorite palettes. I think it is so stunning, gorgeous, just like eye-catching. Red eyeshadow is just crazy, but you know, it's not... It's workable at the same time, which is why I like it so much. I mean, we have like lighter shades in here, but we also have dark maroon shades that we can really transform a whole look with. Maroon and burgundy, you know, cranberry colors, they're so beautiful. And yeah, okay. It is like nine o'clock at night when I'm filming this. I was just working on packing up my makeup room. If it looks hectic in the background, that's why. We're moving and I'm trying to like pre-film as much as I can. So that's that. If you're new here, I am taking all six of the beautiful BH Cosmetics ice cream palettes and I'm taking and I'm doing an individual video with each one to kind of showcase them and just do a whole look based on it. And I love that. I love BH Cosmetics and I want to I want to share it with you. Uh, I have a playlist. Um, I've already done sugar cone, pistachio and cotton candy, which is the neutral green and pink and purple pink slash purple kind of palette and I'm gonna link that whole playlist down below for you. Check that out seriously um, if you really want some good monochromatic color inspiration. They have all been so fun to work with. I will also have the palette link down below for you as well as any other video that I have possibly mentioned and let's go ahead, um, let's go through swatches. This palette comes with eight shades by the way. Top row is shimmer, bottom row is matte. That's how it is for every single one of these palettes. Top row we have sweet, Juicy, Maraschino, Black Cherry, Sunday, Wild Cherry, Tart, and Sprinkles. Super cute. Okay, all right, let's zoom up and we're gonna do the brows and we're just gonna transform the eyes. If you hear any like snoring or anything like that, uh, my dog is on the, my floor, curled up in a blanket. He's so cute right now. He, anytime there's a blanket, he kind of like makes his own like nest out of it. I uh, don't, I'm also putting back my hair. Yeah, he's super cute. I love him. He's great. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I'm kind of like all over the place right now because I'm just so, I was just like, you know, literally like packing up so much of my makeup. I boxed up a, like a lot of it, but there's a not really a whole lot I can do like as of right now. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's really frustrating with moving. There's only so much you can do at a time. And I hit that point tonight and it was just, it's just really hard because I want to pack everything up, but at the same time I like, you know, can't. Before we do anything I related, I want to do my brows because literally I turned on the camera, realized I didn't do any brows. So I'm like, well, we'll just, we'll just do it while we're filming, I guess. I'm using the Real Her Brow Pencil. I got this in my August BoxyCharm. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it down below for you. So if I sound a little stuffy, I do have some allergies. My allergies are so bad this summer. I have really bad like pollen allergies, so. Yeah, and I did, decided not to take allergy meds today, which was so smart of me. Always will like, you know, kind of fill my brows, then I'll kind of blend it out with a spoolie, kind of creating a little more of like a natural effect to the brows. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Just blending it out. Go. I'm gonna set it with a little bit of the Billion Dollar Brows Clear Brow Gel. I'm going absolutely nowhere tonight. <laughs> I'm also gonna put on a little bit of the Tarte Sugar Rush Lip Butter Balm. So my lips definitely need some moisture. I feel like red eyeshadow definitely goes with the whole fall and winter thing. We got fall as a red as a fall color, but red is also a beautiful holiday color, obviously for uh, Christmas, but as but same with like Kwanzaa, so. Okay, let's prime the eyes a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. Now the reason why I use this is because it's a little too dark to use on my under eyes, unfortunately. Um, it covers really well, but I think I'm just gonna buy like a different shade to actually use on my under eyes. <laughs> I'm probably gonna look really crazy right now. I feel like I always do, but that's just the name of the game, especially when you're priming with like concealer. It is a little brighter, obviously. It looks really weird on your eyes to have your eyes like all one color and just kind of like, like it doesn't look natural. You know, this doesn't look natural by any means. Uh, so I have a little bit of like a dry patch on my eye. Don't ask why, I don't know. I'm just gonna set my primer with a little bit of like a cream eyeshadow. 
You can also just set it with powder as well. My eyelids and my brows look really good. The rest of my face is like ready for bed. <laughs> oh well. I'm not like ready for bed, but like it's almost nine o'clock, so we're kind of getting there. All right, finally, we're going into cherry on top. We're first gonna go with the beautiful shade Sunday. We're gonna get our transition all good to go, and we're just kind of setting up a whole basis for this look. We're going with my favorite crease brush, or at least one of them, the Morphe M441. <laughs> This is a really nice like peachy kind of pinky salmon-y color almost and just look how that is just blending now my eyeshadow might look a little weird on this eye i've been having some like problems with this eye recently so i do have some dry patches like i'm not excited about it but it's there but just look how nicely that is just blending out i love that bh cosmetics shadows really do not do anybody wrong they are some of the best inexpensive drugstore shadows on the market. And honestly, everybody needs to how about honestly everybody needs to go get these. Let's take this um, next shade, Wild Cherry. I'm gonna kind of blend that a little bit lower. Okay, just a little bit lower. This little thing here. You guys have seen this. I talk about this a lot. Let me just kind of clean off the brush here. Okay, let's take actually a mixture of tart and wild cherry, which are these two right here. Tart here is just like a perfect red shade. Now, reds, I've, I've noticed this with reds, but reds are also kind of like a harder shadow to work with at times. So we are just kind of being patient with this one. Mainly kind of keeping it in the other part of the eye, like pressing in and then diffusing and blending out. Always looks weird when you're like halfway through and you're like, oh my god, I'm the worst makeup artist or worst makeup doer ever and I'm gonna look like a clown today. But once you get everything kind of figured out, seriously, like, it all gets better. The lighting is kind of washing this out, but I literally have this that like lightest shade that we just went in with, like literally up to the brow. There we go. I look crazy, of course. Why, why wouldn't I look crazy? And I'm like halfway done with it. Okay, <laughs> let's go in with just Tarte now. We're not using Wild Cherry, just this nice shade. Getting it on my brush and popping it right on the lower lash line. Now you need to be careful. I say this whenever I do like pink tutorials or like uh, red tutorials or anything like that. Make sure you're not bringing in any red shades too close to the inner part of your eye because when that, when either your inner corner gets red, you can sometimes look sick. So I always recommend if you're gonna do a red eye like this, like a red smoky eye like I'm about to do, you know, be sure to keep in mind this needs to stay very bright, you know? So let's go into sprinkles, this deep burgundy gorgeous sage, say? Gorgeous sage, what the heck? This is a beautiful shade. It really is. I also moved my camera over, so I'm used to like sitting over more towards this way. Sorry about that. I'm more used to kind of angling this way. On with sprinkles. We're gonna kind of bring this very gently on the outer part of the eye. Just steeping it up just a touch. Okay, I wanna do something kind of fun. So we're gonna take uh, black cherry, which is the steepest one, on a pencil brush. I'm just kind of go over that area, just kind of making it a little shimmery. Right where we put on the deep maroon matte shade, we're putting the deepest shimmer right kind of over the top. Next, we're taking maraschino, which is this nice red shade. Popping it right here on the lid. Probably are going to have to go back in and kind of just like work on that outer corner maybe. Maybe not though. Oh, that's like bright red. I need to like clean off my fingers here. I use this to do like swatches and stuff, but I also do have quite a bit of fallout if you can kind of see on my face here. Uh, oh yeah, look at that, I left a streak. <laughs> uh, make sure if you are doing a look like this or you're recreating my look, make sure that you do your um, eyes first and your foundation second. I'm gonna get this brush. We're gonna get it a little wet here with a little bit of setting spray. We're gonna go into this awesome shade, Juicy. It's kind of like an orangey shade. 
these shimmers are a little chunky so i maybe recommend having like a little bit of like wetness on your brush whether that's with water whether that's with setting spray like i use but just kind of making sure you know having a wet brush with a really kind of more chunky metallic shimmery shade is going to help the product go on better so i'm bringing that in on the inner part of the lid really blending that up to the crease and just kind of bringing that juicy shade which is the lighter shade up into the crease as well it creates like a little like arc i really enjoy that because i just love bh cosmetics they have such great amazing eyeshadow i have so many videos on bh cosmetics um if you want to go on my channel just type in bh cosmetics and i have so many so many videos on them oh my god we really used every shade in this palette we're gonna go on a sweet, which is a nice light pink shade. Ah, oh, love this shade. It is so gorgeous. Let's even get this wet on a different brush. This brush is from Alamar Cosmetics. Okay, we're gonna go into that nice light pink shade. It's a little more cool toned, okay? It's not as reddish as the other one, so I'm gonna pop this one in the inner corner has a little more like of like a silver maybe reflex to it but not like too much like it's just like a little bit of like a, oh silver hi <laughs> maybe we'll put a little bit of that on the brow bone too is that too dark uh it looks it doesn't look like that on camera but in real life i'm like mm. it's a little dark for my liking but i'm gonna need to wipe off my under eyes <laughs> okay let's go in with some liner so we're gonna use the hank and henry slick with it liquid liner um, I use this one a lot. I want to do a wing. I want to be sassy in this look. Like, I just want to, like, a little crazy. Like, not like crazy. I want to go outside of my comfort zone here. This is like a red look eye. Like, I want to do something crazy. I think I'm going to do a wing. Okay, I just went from, like, cute cat eye to, like, villain in 0.2 seconds. Awesome. <laughs> Do I match? Maybe a little bit. Let's go in with mascara. Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. It's a good one. <laughs> I did this wing out way too far. Darn it. I totally don't like it. This is also too thin of a line. Like I want it. I should have made it thicker. Should I try it? We're not doing anything else tonight. It's okay. Oh my gosh. I like the thickness of it, but it's too far out. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. That one actually looks pretty good. This one's a little shorter than this one. It's like, this one is like, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear kind of thing. Okay. Uh, wow. The lashes look awesome. Now I'm just going to blot some of this lip balm off because if you didn't know it was coming, <laughs> now you do. We're going to use the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in the shade Bowl of Cherries. This is very bright. This is very out there. And we're going to use it. This is a very weird smell to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't smell like anything good. I'm going to need to do a fast word. I cannot talk while doing this. <laughs> I got like the AOC red lip on. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. I'm loving this. I do need to let this dry just a little bit because I want to put a gloss on top, but I do want to let it dry. But the gloss we're going to use is the Too Faced High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss in the shade Spice Cake. This was from Holiday. It's a little bit deeper, but it's like the best red gloss I have. Don't mind like the cars driving by. Hopefully my new neighborhood won't be as loud. Just want to make sure it's fully dry here but let's go in with this lip gloss just a little bit i just want a little moisture like i don't want dry lips like a gold sparkle to it so it kind of like toned it down just a little bit not bad not bad <laughs> all right you guys that's the finished look i did not expect this to come out the way it did by no means did i expect this but i actually like it uh the wing right here is a little too far little too sassy a little too out of my comfort zone 
but I still like it. Okay, we got two more palettes of this series. We have Orange Sherbet and Bubblegum, which are orange and blue. That's going to be really fun to create. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to check out my other looks with this palette series if you haven't already. And yeah, wow. I love this red lip. I went like all red today. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You seriously mean so much to me. Especially when you click on my videos. It means so much to me. And... We are doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers, so we should be sure to subscribe for that. We're already at like 450. That's crazy. So be sure to get us to 500, and I will see you in my next one.